Welcome to the brand new episode of the Mail Day with Bearded Tinker. Today we have a couple more packages to open. So let's get started. Let's open the next package. I'm beginning to bore myself with those relays. Hopefully, third time is a charm. Let's open this one. Um, this relay will be my third attempt to uh, use Raspberry Pi to control the power on the Ender 3 Pro printer. This one should be 3.3 volt relay. I have to check it. Normally close, normally open common. DC plus minus. Hmm. And we have here high and low. I have to test this, but uh, this relay should finally resolve my issue with the uh, Raspberry Pi controlling the power for the Ender 3, so I can have my power supply on the printer working constantly, powering the Raspberry Pi, and only when needed I can turn the relay on or off, or uh, give power relay to make a contact to turn the printer on. And I think this is for 3 volts. So this should work with the power from the Raspberry Pi. Let's check the web listing. This is the web listing for the relay. I bought it from the module based store with the store rating 98.9% positive feedback. My price of the relay with the shipping was $1.90. Uh, this gives total of $1.91, so it's one cent more expensive. Uh, it did arrive pretty quickly. I did install it already on my printer and it works perfectly with the Raspberry Pi. And as I said, this item works really great. And if you want to try yourself, this relay will help you in this project. Let's check the next item. Let's open this package. Electronic module. These are three additional CC2531 modules. They are same as before. Those will once again be used for a giveaway. Don't forget to follow me, subscribe, and you will get notification when I make a new giveaway. So this is a typical uh, Zigbee USB module. I use it in my setup with the Raspberry Pi, but I also use it in a Synology setup. In a giveaway, I will be giving those modules a pre-programmed with the latest firmware on them. If you uh, buy them yourself, don't forget that you will need a couple of additional modules to program them, because you will have to insert this module into the computer. Uh, you will also have a programming interface and the uh, RS-232 or whatever interface between that programming module and this connector. And then you would use a Texas Instruments application to upload the firmware onto this module. And now let's check the web listing. I have already covered this web listing. So from the global purchase store with the 99.1 positive feedback, I bought three more CC2531 USB sticks, Zigbee sticks. I will be also giving those away. I must first apologize to the winners of the first giveaway I had. I still didn't manage to ship them out. I already prepared them, programmed them, but I had problem finding the matching envelopes. Yeah, so I had to order them. They arrived just a couple of days ago. So I will probably mail the CC2531 sticks to the winners of the last giveaway next week. And be sure to subscribe my channel so you get notification on my next giveaway. It will probably be when I reach 1000 subscribers, so a couple of weeks away. The price for the item is $3.03 with the shipping cost of $0.51 cents to Croatia. 
uh, it was a bit more for me because when you add quantity the shipping adds up so I think my total purchase was about 12 13 dollars customer review is 4.9 out of 5 stars and let's check the negative or two star review I don't see any problem here because yeah you do need debugger for that and this is known so okay as I said I definitely would recommend I myself have two of those running they work perfectly I didn't try decons one if somebody will mail them to me I would definitely try them but these ones work perfectly let's jump to the next item let's open the next package it's Aquara motion sensor unfortunately the box is squished a lot but nevertheless it should work correctly as it says it's Zigbee it uses CR2450 battery operate temperature is between minus 10 and plus 45 and the model number for this is RTCGQ11LM there are a couple of versions this one has I think both the uh, light detector meaning the look detector and motion detector so it can be used in home assistance or combined with home assistant to make automations that will enable you to uh, turn your evening lights depending on the current inside uh, light let's open this box oh it's nice and small so we have a stand and we have sensor if I'm correct we should be able to open this up somehow let me see I cannot uh, this button should probably used for pairing yeah it's now waiting to be paired and this is the stand for the sensor it is really really small that's nice it's even smaller than I thought okay. let's check the web listing and later on I will try and add this to my home assistant setup motion sensor from Xiaomi was bought from Mia smart home store I buy all my Xiaomi sensors Zigbee sensors from them I already bought door sensors magic cube couple of switches from them and I will probably buy all the other Xiaomi Zigbee stuff they have just to test them I've been using this motion sensor now for some time there are two different versions there is a Quara version and there is Mia version I would definitely recommend for you to go with the Akara version because it gives you not just motion sensor but also has light intensity sensor and this one is great if you want to automate when your lights turn on not just depending on the time of the day but also the light intensity coming inside the room customer review for this item is 4.9 out of 5 stars let's check the negative reviews yeah more or less everything is problem with the delivery problem with delivery as I said once before you get what you pay if you want to be 100% sure go for more expensive shipping options although those two both provide you with the tracking so even China Post should be okay in terms of my statistics from the about 200 packages I uh, ordered so far from Aliexpress I did lose one of them and it was not sent by China Post but it was sent by some non some delivery service without tracking but the item itself cost less than one dollar so I said okay it's statistical error um, for what I'm using this one I'm using it for the as I said uh, light intensity detector 
but I also use it for the motion detection during the night to turn one light on when somebody is walking down the stairs. And just quickly to go through my uh, Xiaomi motion sensor. So these are the entities that you can create from Xiaomi motion sensor. First one is of course the motion or occupancy sensor. As you can see it triggers. Uh, the only drawback that I don't see as a drawback but my friends do or my colleagues do is that it stays triggered for approximately one minute. I use it to detect motion after uh, midnight so my light, night light turns on. The next or most important sensor for me is illuminance or lux sensor. This one detects the current illuminance that the sensor can see. And as you can see here, you can track the light available in your area, in the area that the sensor is in. You can use this to automate the lights turning on or off. And the last part of the sensor, of course, is the link quality. Bad side for me is that, well, this is not really bad side, but a nuance is that each sensor or each part of the sensor created its own battery status. So it provides you with four different battery sensors for this one sensor. But of course you can remove any one of them and it will still work without an issue. As I said, I use it myself in my own configuration and it really works great. I would definitely recommend and I would definitely buy more of them. When I was preparing my stair lights, I wanted to use ESP8266 board with the PIR sensors. This one is a bit ex more expensive than that, but it works flawlessly. So I decided I will be from now on using those sensors instead of ESP8266 or ESP32 boards with PIR sensors. Okay, let's jump to the next item. And let's open up the next package. And that's great. This is for my 3D printer, but also to uh, wrap up some other wires I have for, for example, Queen LED projects and things like that. So let me open this bag. Yeah, eight millimeter quality control something. It should be eight millimeter. Let's pull this out. Let's see. I think this will be okay. I have to try it on the 3D printer. I like those uh, wire wraps more than the original uh, wire wraps on the Ender 3. So I'll be replacing them. Let's jump back to the web page and see the web listing for this item. This is the web listing for the cable wrap. I bought it from the Big Tree Tech Co LTD store. It has 98.6 positive feedback for the store. Customer reviews are 5 out of 5 stars from the 23 reviewers. I bought black version 8mm and I used about 10% or 15% of this tube to fix wiring on my Ender 3. And it really looks great, works great. I added all the wires I have going from my hot end heater, uh, thermistor and BL touch sensor inside that. And it's, yeah, it's working great. It, 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 it really keeps the wires tight and it looks really nice. Cost is $3.28 with the free shipping with China Post. I think I bought it during some kind of uh, sale so I had price of three dollars and ten cents and if you ever need any kind of uh, wire wrap I really do recommend this one the original one the net one that 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 extends and shrinks is great and I use it in uh, RC cars RC models when I played with them but I like this one much better let's open up the next package and these are LEDs. I must thank Quindor for them. Uh, no, he hasn't sent me. He pointed me in the right direction. I needed uh, 
white digital addressable LEDs. So these are WWA LEDs, meaning that it's warm white, cold white and amber. And I hope that those are uh, acceptable by my wife because I need to install them in our living room. And when she's seen the color ones, she said, no way this is going in my living room. Let's check the web listing and I'll try to hook them up and test them using Queen LED uh, Diguna board. This is the web listing for the last item for today. Those are the LED strips. They are warm white, cool white and amber color. So three white options. I bought five meters with 30 LEDs, IP30, so I didn't want to go for water protection or higher dust protection and currently it's selling for $19.84 for 5 meters. I bought it on a sale and the price was lower than now. It was around $19.20 and currently it's selling for the $19.84 with the free shipping to Croatia for 5 meters, uh, 30 LEDs per meter. Bought this from Zofipo Yince store with 100% positive feedback and I bought it on the recommendation from the Quindor from Queen LED project. I did test them and they worked great. Uh, I showed it to my wife and when I wanted to install them I did what I normally do. I made a mistake and I switched the positive and the negative wire and I managed to burn the whole LED strip. <laughs> okay, so if you wonder how I did it, well, I burned a couple of LEDs, then I thought that it was the problem because I was getting them on the roll and back, that probably I did short circuit something on the first part of the strip, then I cut the strip, put the new wires in, again, I connected positive to negative and negative to positive, managed to burn some more LEDs. So I did it a couple of times, I did it probably four or five times. So yeah, it was not one mistake, it was the whole night of mistakes. And I did manage at the end to burn whole five meters of this trip. So I had to order a new one. But from the testing that I did, it really worked great. I really love the colors. It's also great that you can do it. You can connect it with the home assistant and do some automations in it. And my wife loved the colors or white shades, shades of white. But yeah, I managed to burn the whole strip. This is it for today's mail day with Billy Tinker. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe I didn't stress out when I started this series. All of the items I buy here are purchased by my own money. Those are not those are not items that are given to me. I buy them and 99% of those items I will use either in my daily use or for the projects or for the recording of this channel. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified of the future videos. And I will be seeing you next time. Until then, bye-bye and have fun.